Hello! Hi everyone! Here we are in the Annex at St John's. Wanted to say, firstly, it was so lovely to see so many people last week uh, for Pentecost, both at the praise and prayer in the afternoon where we came together to pray and to worship as a parish, Thanks. but also in the barbecue. And thank you for everyone who was involved with helping make that happen. It was a lovely time for us to be together as a parish in Cove. The reason we're doing a new video today is that we're now at the next stage of our unification and we wanted to tell you a little bit more about that. We thought also it'd be good just to think back, what were the reasons for the unification in the first place? Uh, above all, we felt that it was about the complementary gifts of the Southwood and the St Christopher's congregation coming together so that the whole would be greater than the sum of the parts for mission in Cove Parish. It's the fulfilment of a long-term vision. And as much as anything, we feel that we're in a season where God is calling us uh, despite some of all of the practical difficulties and the uncertainties of it all, uh, to really love one another in yeah. Christ. It's a big challenge because so much is changing, but we feel God, it's, God is watching us and uh, it's a great, great call, an opportunity to love one another and serve one another in some challenging times. And then over the past three months, uh, throughout the parish, we've been having times of feedback, times of reflection and prayer, meeting with people one-to-one, -one, uh, having opportunities to come together and to discuss how we're feeling and what would be the best way forward for us as a parish. We also acknowledge that uh, God is calling us to uh, a time of change in changing times and that is uh, a big ask for so many of us. It can leave us feeling unsettled, disorientated. I've felt these things over the last year or two. Gemma has Me felt too. them yeah. uh, even just in the last uh, three or four months of, of this process. And so we recognise it's a very, very hard time for so many of us and uh, a time when perhaps we're called to, to hold our nerve uh, and just a time of watching and waiting on God to see what he's doing. But it can be as well as exciting, it can be disorientating. Um, and uh, quite, uh, quite tough for some of us. So we do recognise that and we've certainly experienced those emotions ourselves too. And it's, and it's okay to feel like that. That's, that's to totally normal. Yeah. And it would be more unusual if we weren't feeling like that, going through <laughs> yeah. this, the amount of change that we may never see the level of change um, in terms of kind of partial restructure, name rechange, service times change, new clergy, all this happening at one time. That, that is a lot for us to be going through. Extraordinary. Uh, just to say, when we came to look at the PCC last week uh, for the patterns for how we do worship at Christchurch, that was a really important meeting and thank you so much for mm. praying for us. Brilliant. We wanted to find a pattern where all services and all styles would be able to thrive. That's really important for us. But also a pattern that would work for the long term, so we don't keep having change, but something that we can establish now that will take us through into the future. And thirdly, for a pattern that would enable mission and growth. So we're not only thriving with who we are now, but that we have the opportunity to have a pattern of services that allow us to grow, allow us to be effective in mission, and to see more people come into Christchurch, more people come into us across the parish to see our, our services grow and people meet Jesus. The PCC also, we discussed the practical concerns of what it would mean for us for, for a service pattern. We listened to the feedback and we thought about what would be the best for the future. And after some time of discussion, and we did for me for quite a while and discuss yeah. and think about the feedback over the last few months, and also where God is leading us and what he's calling us to do and be as a parish in the future. And we made the decision that we are going to change the service patterns to a 9.30 and an 11.15. So a 9.30 contemporary service and an 11.15 more liturgical service. We're gonna, well, Steve, you, you tell, tell us, you, you tell us, tell you tell us about what we're doing. I'll tell you what, we're not this. doing another take on this video. <laughs> <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to launch the new service back at 9.30 and the 11.15 on a Sunday morning at Christchurch on Sunday the 21st of July. So uh, we really hope that you can be there uh, to support one another. Could be actually a good opportunity yeah. like we did when we started the 9am and the 10.30 for different members of the congregation perhaps to come to both services to encourage one another and just uh, enjoy that, that good fellowship together. But just, just as, as, as a one-off to, to go to both services if you were to do that that morning. But that's Saturday, Sunday the 21st 
of July. Uh, but we want to end on a high. Oh, but we've got one thing to Ooh, say before we? that. Just to say that um, if you are involved in a road on a Sunday, we'll be in oh, yeah. touch with you about the practicalities mm. of that, so you don't need to worry. Absolutely. Uh, and ending on a high, uh, yeah. we've got some really great news we have. that the official launch of Christchurch Cove uh, will take place on Sunday the 22nd of September and we've chosen that date because that's the date when Bishop Andrew is going to be able to come and uh, celebrate that with us and the big unification service will take place on Sunday the 22nd of September uh, and that will be at 6.30 in the evening so put that in your diaries and yeah. uh, what, a, what a brilliant celebration we hope that will be and that you'll all be able to come not just from Christchurch but actually maybe right across the parish uh, mm. to just show our fellowship in Christ on that evening when Bishop Andrew joins us. Yeah, and it's an opportunity for us to show the community about yeah. the new things that we're doing here, how we've come together. We know that statistically often people move in the summer because it's a time to kind of get your children into school and that sort of thing. So what we're hoping is that people that move into Cove, that maybe have a faith, will come and join us. Uh, it would be wonderful to see them somewhere in our parish and having the launch gives us a real opportunity to be able to do that. So that's 22nd of September at 6.30pm. I Lovely. think that's, that's probably all we have to say. We will be in touch with some Lovely. more practicalities about what that means for the service so, times. Yeah. Watch this space. Bye have everyone, have a brilliant week. God Bye. bless. Bye everybody. Bye.